Incredible great news, the day has finally come. All the stimulus you ever thought you wanted is finally happening. The Democrats took the Senate in the final results out of Georgia today. With that, the $2,000 stimulus check, the Cash Act is going to get passed. Third stimulus package, Biden stimulus, SSDI $2,400, going to get passed. Multiple stimulus checks, hazard pay, FPUC retro at $600 a week for 20 weeks, EIDL grant, the remainder of your $10,000 EIDL grant. Suddenly, after six months of us saying, you know what, are they ever going to get to these things? It's not when, but how soon. This is the finality of the wait that you've ever wanted to not go through again. We're finally at the finish line, and we've crossed it. After six months, congratulations, you're over the finish line. No need to tweet anything anymore, because it's finally happened. This is Evening's L.I. Light. Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Evenings at Light, and wow, what a night it is. While I could focus on a lot of stories, because there's a lot of stories happening, and I certainly covered the unrest in Washington earlier today, the big news is your stimulus. You're getting cash act. You're getting third stimulus. You're getting fourth stimulus. Every single thing that I've covered, you're getting. And in this video, I'm going over it. So please subscribe, because this channel is not going to just be reporting you news over the next six months. I'm going to be going through every application of every single thing that you qualify for, ensuring you get it if you get into a snaf or snagu or snafu. What's a snagu? Snafu. I'm going to ensure you get the money as well. I'm going to handhold you, help you, white glove you, and do anything else I can ensure to help you get this money. And I'll explain how I've done it before in this video and how I'm going to do it again. So please subscribe. Also, like this video and hit the alert button. In this video, I'm going to explain how everything changed today, how our mindset changed as well, and how our pocketbooks are going to change over the next six months. And with that, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is it really almost takes an emotional or mental readjustment to realize that after six months of being told by Steve Mnuchin, it's coming, or Nancy Pelosi, it's imminent, or being told by Mark Meadows, maybe next week. It's no longer all that with false hopes or questions or wondering or wishing. It's actually now happening. Every single thing that I've covered on this channel, in detail, in overview, or in, in, in introduction, is happening. And let me go over each of them one at a time. First, the $2,000 stimulus check. Fix it. The fix it bill. It's not a package, but a fix it bill. It's happening. That will be $1,400 for individuals, double that amount for, for uh married couple, $1,400 for children, and $2,000 for adult dependents who never got a stimulus check. How soon would you get it? It's a really hard call because the events of today, which have sort of erupted and may have delayed things, but I still think they can get it done before inauguration. The question is whether they mentally want to get it done. I want to give it a couple days and see how it percolates, but I still believe it will get done before election day, before inauguration day. Sorry about that. Before January 20th. So then what happens across the board for everything else. Well, what's important to understand is that everything from second stimulus that President Trump signed in Mar-a-Lago two weeks ago is hitting in the next few days. And that's even before I get to Biden stimulus. Now, let me go over each, over each of the ones that are hitting next. SNAP benefits are hitting already. So if you did not get the SNAP benefit of increase of 15%, it's going to hit in your bank account 
uh, in the month of March, in the month of February. States have now indicated they did not give you the 15% increase this month. They're going to give it in February. Remember, it's a six-month deal, so they'll go from February to July. Also, if you did not get pandemic EBIT for that additional child that's staying home, call up SNAP. That's $114 a month per child that stays at home. If you're not on SNAP and want to get on SNAP, call 211 or Department of Agriculture. That's the first thing. FPUC $300 a week, that's being paid already. About 7 to 12 states have now paid some of the viewers of this channel $300 a week. Other viewers in the same states haven't gotten paid, so don't worry if you're one of those people in the state. For example, some people in California are still on lockdown their accounts, but others have gotten the $300 a week. Don't worry. Washington and New Mexico, they're saying they haven't, they're not going to pay up, you see, until the middle of the month. Other states haven't even told viewers anything. So you want to hope you're in one of the states that are actually telling you where the FPC is going to land. Let's continue with second stimulus. Second stimulus, the $600 stimulus check, it's causing confusions in some places. Other places are resolving themselves. Uh... H&R Block, viewers are actually got, getting the $600 stimulus check for H&R Block, so this is really good news. TurboTax, other problems are erupting. Uh, if you went to the IRS tracking website, it's working for some people, it's not working for other people. It, sometimes the day it is working, some parts of the day it's not working. If you are an electronic recipient, if you're expecting the payment electronically, I would say at least... 50 to 70% of the viewers have still not gotten the electronic payment. If you're looking for the paper check, I think 90% of viewers have not gotten the paper check. So nothing is coming as on time as it predicted. And finally, if you have a check that you've received, but it's omitting someone in the household, maybe one child's omitted, there's no way to really fix it at the moment. And it won't be a way to fix it for a while. All right, so let's continue with the second stimulus. PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program, if you're on Uber or Lyft or Airbnb, you're an independent contractor, a plumber, electrician, anything that's Schedule C, or anything that it, you have your own business, it's going live in a few days. You may want to reach out to a FinBank, and if you want me to do the PPP videos now, before a few days from now, I can start rolling them out sooner. You want to get ready because they're actually taking applications in advance of PPP going live. Then EIDL grant for inner city business, excuse me, low income businesses, low income community businesses, and for agricultural and ranchers will go live in the next week. I don't know what day. It will be at sba.gov. It's going to be a Purple Hawk moment. Purple Hawk, what is Purple Hawk? Purple Hawk describes the viewers of the channel who are ready to pounce as hawks and get the stimulus. Why do I use the word hawk? Because the example is with SBA EIDL. Every time they go live with one, it's gone after four days or three days it's gone. So these things literally disappear faster than a concert ticket. And I'm using that analogy right to the T because they literally disappear that quickly. So you want to pounce like a purple hawk. You don't want to be a donut guy, a guy who sits around and just waits for things to uh, automatically occur because the big money is purple hawk money. Next, rent, utilities, and free internet will likely roll out in the next week. I'll have details for that as soon as we see it. So then we turn to third stimulus, third stimulus, Biden stimulus. When we start to see third stimulus, we will see it in the next week, potentially, by the early words from Biden and the Democrats and bills. But we already know what the deal provisions initially will look like. Now, before I get to the details, I want to say this sort of in the clearest way I can. It's been emotionally confusing and emotionally trying for a lot of viewers to have heard coming, imminent, soon, around the corner, happening, and then it doesn't happen. It's going to all change now. You're going to see an enormous stimulus package under Biden, and it's not going to be a half trillion dollars. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be somewhere between three to seven trillion dollars. It's absolutely going to be a behemoth. It's going to land in the House, which is Democratic. Then it's going to go to the Senate, which is Democratic. Mitch McConnell is no longer Democrat, is no longer majority leader. It will be Chuck Schumer as the majority leader. There'll be no way to block the bill unless Democrats vote against it, which they're not going to do. And then it's going to land on Biden's table. So anything that Biden wants, Biden's going to get. So what does Biden want? Here we turn to third stimulus package. And what's important to understand, it's sort of hard to say this, that you may have been in an era of disbelief for six months. I don't, will it really happen? Bottom line is if you hear Joe Biden say something, it's happening because there's no way to block it. Mitch can't block it anymore. 
Ron Johnson and the and the and the the Toomeys of the world cannot block it anymore. Whatever Joe wants, you're gonna get. And so he's he's promising stimulus from now all the way to the pandemic's over. And that pandemic's not going to end until June. So you're going to see enormous stimulus, but it may be front loaded, meaning you may see an enormous amount in January that covers you for many months. And then you will see fourth and fifth and sixth stimulus packages to come back and revise them to give you more because they say, hey, we don't have enough. We need to give you more. An example is something like EIDL. They do it. It runs out of money. They'll zoom back in and do it again. Javita Carranza is gone. So everything that you saw that was bad in 2020, it's not happening anymore. It's new people in charge. So what are the items? $2,400 for SSDI. Yes. Number one, that's $200 a month from January to December. The first check may be delayed till February, so you get a double check in February. Then an up, up, uh, a upgrade of your benefits of at least 20, up, up to 20%, and then a new met benchmark that will raise your benefits annually. Multiple stimulus checks. Biden has promised multiple stimulus checks. How many checks? How many months? We'll see. It's looking like $2,000 is a very mainstream number at the moment. So if the check was bigger than $2,000, I would be surprised. But I would not be surprised if you saw six months of checks. I would just not be surprised at this point. Third, FPUC Retro. That's FPUC, which goes on top of your UI and goes on top of your PUA for unemployment. FPUC Retroactive means that it goes back in time and then comes forward. FPUC retroactive means that you did not get paid FPUC from July 25th to about this week. So Biden's promising he'll go back to January 25th and come up to the future at $600 a week. That's 20 weeks. 20 weeks times $600 is $12,000 a purpose. Then he'll go forward with FPUC until this pandemic's over. Meaning, if you're getting $300 this week, he will give you an additional $300 a week to get you $600. Then EIDL grant, the remainder of your $10,000 EIDL grant. The EIDL grant you never got or the EIDL grant that you applied for, they ran out of money. You can't get two EIDL grants. The EIDL loan increase you always wanted but couldn't get as well. PPP, another round, bigger and more bold and beautiful. CDC grant, Lifeline grant, those are the ones really unsure about because... You, they don't appear in his papers, but maybe they will last from Pelosi's papers. These were Pelosi items. Lifeline grant is um, based upon your cost of goods sold on your 2019 return up to $50,000. So if your cost of goods sold was $50,000, you get $50,000. Uh, the CDC grant tie for essential workers. And then there's hazard pay. $13 an hour times number of hours you work all the way from January of last year up to 60 days after the pandemic ends, $10,000. And then we have everything else. Student loan debt forgiveness, yes. Eviction moratorium, yes. And mortgage forbearance. And as I've been reporting throughout the day for the first time ever on this channel, you're going to see things which we never heard of before that are new. He has new advi he has advisors that were not part of the Democratic team throughout 2019. And so those advisors may say, hey, do this thing. Or they may come up with new plans. Things like PPP were new under were, were new instruments created by uh, this first stimulus package. They may come up with brand new things that aren't even called PPP, that do totally different types of things, that that manage money in a different way. Um, and then Biden's going to be back with money for schools and money for transportation. And so you're going to see other packages that are anchored to this package as well. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money and it's a lot to keep track of. So my best advice is get a pen and paper, get a pad, get a place on the table in your home or where you are and get the, get a note, get, make notes, write down a section for second stimulus, which is Trump stimulus the mar a bill, and then get a, make a note for third stimulus. And here are the things that you hear on this channel and say, I think I qualify for that. I want these things. So that you know what to track. It's a lot of different instruments, 10, 20, 30, 40 different instruments of stimulus that I'm covering on this channel. That'll be a lot to cover, for, a lot for a person to remember. And you may qualify for more than one. There is one thing of every package that multiple, that, excuse me, there's multiple things in every package that almost every viewer qualifies for. So consider that. Finally, it's important to get into the mindset of where things are going. 
per donut guy is a is a is a descriptor that I use to describe someone who just wants automatic money, who just wants to sit back and say, when am I going to get a check of automatic money? I don't want to even pick up a pencil. I don't even want to pick up a pen. I've been very frank, and <laughs> I admit it comedic because I don't want to be tough, that Donut Guy is not going to get a lot of money on the third stimulus package. The automatic do nothing, get a check, and just keep your feet up situation of the third stimulus package may not be as robust as you think, but Purple Hawk is going to get a fortune. Purple Hawk is going to get a fortune, and Purple Hawk items are items where you have to apply, fill out words, put your name in, and get things done. The most important thing you need to do when you prepare for things is get that 2019 tax return. Keep it where around where you're doing things because it's always going to ask for numbers from a 2019 tax return. It's going to ask for your social security number, your address, your things like that, your bank account, your routing number. Make sure you have all these things ready to go. And the best thing I told viewers back in April, don't make an error with numbers. So if the, if, the, if the bank rounding account number ends in 02, don't write 01 because that will absolutely destroy the whole application process. And if the cost of goods sold on the Schedule C line 2, you don't know what it is, well, you need to get that Schedule Suit 2 out and on that table, at least a copy, and have it ready because these things are going to be asked from you and you need to be ready to answer them as soon as you get the question. It's not going to be complicated, but I'm going to be here singularly to ensure that you get everything approved. If you weren't with me back when this channel first launched, which most of you were not, that channel is now approaching 400,000 viewers. And when I launched, I had less than 100. I sat there and ensured that everyone's applications were getting approved. I'm going to do the same thing again. I may use uh, more volunteers in different ways than I did before. And I may lean on people to, to assist and, and make sure people's questions are answered. But I'm going to ensure that you get from point A to point B on every application. I won't be sitting here reading news, news reports from CNN or Forbes or wherever. I'll be ensuring you get money. And that's where this channel's going. And join me for this ride. You're going to get a lot of stimulus in 2021. And I'm very excited for you. Join me next on Purple Live. But in the meantime, go to the front channel and subscribe. Also like this video and also uh, hit the alert button. Stay informed, stay focused, and have a great evening. And stay in my life for more.